In today's episode of Homestead How, the girls and I take a three and a half hour road trip to the north woods of Wisconsin to set up our brand new spike tent from walltentshop.com. This is one heck of a tent and we're going to put it through its paces camping in negative 17 degree Fahrenheit weather. This is one heck of an adventure. You're going to want to see how it all turns out in today's episode. So let's get started. So why did we get a spike tent? Well, about two years ago, we did a video on our channel called The Best Tent in the World, and it was all about our love affair with our wall tent. We got our wall tent from walltentshop.com a few years back. We built a platform for it last year, and we absolutely love this tent. But we wanted to try something a little bit larger and a little bit more portable as we keep the wall tent affixed to the platform that we built on our homestead. It's almost like a little cabin on our homestead with the wood stove in there. So we picked up this spike tent from walltentshop.com. We're heading out to do an adventure with the girls in today's video. And if you're only interested in learning about the spike tent, skip ahead to the timestamp on the screen. But this is a quick video and the girls and I had quite an adventure, so I'd suggest watching the whole thing. And be sure to watch till the very end as we do in every episode of Homestead How, we're gonna show you some of our most amazing and favorite photographs from our homestead this week. Okay, what are we doing girls? We're going on a three hour road trip without mom, without Lily. We're taking the camper. We're going to camp out in the woods with that big, huge tent that's down there and this wood stove and those cots and that sleeping bag. To be, be came prepared. We're going to freeze to death. We're going to die in the woods. Okay? Okay. So the first part of the trip after loading the car up for 10 hours is to see if we can actually get the camper out of the snow pile that's been in for months. We bought this camper last year just before everything started shutting down. We picked it up at a good time. We've taken it on a couple short trips, but nothing major. This is a little scary, especially since it's winter. It's negative 17 degrees out, but I do have it all winterized, and we have AAA for it as well. We also have our cold weather sleeping bags and a backup little Mr. Buddy heater, just in case. All right, I know this is a rookie move, but we did buy a bunch of firewood. It's so cold out, I don't want to have a big failure when we get up there and have to worry about setting the tent up and gathering firewood. Just to be extra safe, we're bringing some with. We got the Menards Hall, and we got all that candy. Totally. We just kept and throwing it in the they cart. We just kept throwing stuff in the cart over and over again, and then it was time to check out. And what then, no joke, do? we were walking out, and this old guy points to it and he goes, That's mine. Sing. Are we gonna get demonetized? Probably. It's snowing out. It's snowing out. Okay, I gotta drive. Girls! Three and a half hour drive, we're down to nine minutes. So we've made it to my sister's place in the north woods of Wisconsin, along with my nephew who's helping me carry the box and set up this tent. It's going to be one heck of a project setting this up in the deep snow and the freezing cold. But we'll get it done. One of the reasons I brag on my wall tent is the company that makes this really does a high quality job. It's veteran owned, they're made in America, and they really go the extra mile. Really high quality. We've put our wall tent through a heck of a beating through a couple of winters, and it's perfect. It looks like the day we bought it. So the difference between the spike tent and the wall tent we have at home is this has some more poles. There's a center pole, a pole by the door, also the poles all the way around the side of it. The wall tent of course has poles but they're much larger and they're only around the edges and they're a lot heavier. This is a lot easier to transport. Also it comes with a floor built in and two doors. A couple other things we'll talk about later in the video. The 
The other thing that's great with these tents are they have wood stoves in them, so we should be warm with the wood stove. Well, we'll see anyway. It's going to be brutally cold tonight. If you've never tried it, one thing I definitely recommend is cooking some food over a fire on a cast iron skillet. There is nothing better. If you watch our channel, you're probably like, geez, does this guy know how to cook anything else? No, I don't. I always cook tacos over the cast iron skillet. It's my favorite meal. It always turns out great. Last year on Homestead How, I taught the girls how to play poker. And they quite like it, so we're heading back to the camper to see if I can win some of their money. How do we do that? How are we doing, Alyssa? I'm actually trying to play poker at 9 How do you get to setting? Dad, ready from that one movie? I'm going to do it. Wait, I'm going to change oh it to the card I need. Go, Maverick. Okay. Who won? Both of us. You guys didn't even win. You just quit and split my money? Yeah, technically. That's sweet. This was my 20 then. A little close. A little close. So then I have. The next morning, we decided to cook breakfast in the camper. And since dad's cooking, it's going to be eggs, pretzels, and of course rice. We're making breakfast. Oh. It was also nice getting to visit with my sister and nephew and their cats. They've actually taught their cats to sit and shake, which is insane. And I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it with my own two eyes. The cat actually did it several times, it was pretty cool. I think she was getting a little stage fright with all of us watching, but pretty smart cat. Yeah, it's just cold. All right, so the girls and I camped in this 14 by 14 spike tent. I love this tent, it's a great tent. Things I like about this that differ from the wall tent are you have these poles, the center pole, this door pole, and then there's poles around it. And they're a lot lighter and smaller and not as heavy as the huge poles you have for the wall tent. So it's easier to transport. The other thing that's cool is we have our wood stove in here, just like we do with the wall tent. The thing I like with this spike tent is it comes with a built-in floor that's already attached. So with the wall tent, there's no floor. We have a separate floor, but there's gaps and we get mice in there and stuff. This is all one piece. The other cool feature is, it comes with a built-in screen, a front door, that door opens that way and that way, and then there's also a back door. And this is really nice to have two doors, especially with a fire in here. If God forbid we were ever to have a fire and this thing went up, we'd have two ways to get out. Another little nice attention to detail is we have a window over there and a window on that side. And it's much bigger than the other tent. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. It's 14 by 14. Our wall tent's 10 by 12. This thing is huge. We've got three cots in here. I've got a sleeping pad over here. And there's still room for more uh, places to sleep. You do have a pole in the middle. I guess that's the only con compared to the wall tent. The wall tent, there's no pole in the middle. but. It's really not an issue, and in our wall tent we have our lantern hanging down in the center anyway, so you kind of are always walking around the lantern. We still have the lantern hanging down off this pole. So overall I'm really happy with this. It's got the nice uh, canvas, super heavy duty. Uh, the only tricky part that we really had with this, and you can kind of see from the outside, let's go outside one more time, we'll get one more shot, I'll show you what I mean. So the only really tricky part with this that was kind of difficult is 
We have this set up in the snow and with the spike tent, I'm learning about this. You need to have these tension lines and the stakes. You have those with the wall tent too, but they're more important. You want to have them really tight. And it was really difficult to do in the snow here. We dug the snow out, we pounded the stakes down, but the ground is frozen. It's hard as a rock. Plus, this property we're on has tons of rocks around, so we kept hitting rocks. So it's a little tricky getting this thing set up, and it's not set up perfectly if you look at it. It's, you can see it sagging in some areas, but I don't know, it's up there pretty good. In the summertime, if we were to do this, it would be a breeze to set up. Alyssa, Alyssa what's going on? We just got back. We're about to make hot dogs and... Uh, we're freezing cold. We're waiting for the fire to get up to speed, and then we're going to be way too hot, right? Uh, I can see my breath right now. It may not show on video, but this is the coldest weather I've ever dealt with. Negative 17 Fahrenheit. We are freezing. It is pretty nice and toasty in the spike tent though. As long as we keep that fire stoked. So the girls and I are heading out. We're going to gather some more firewood and some sticks. Make sure we have plenty of wood to get us through the night because it's only going to get colder. thing Emma packed for this entire trip was popcorn. If you watch our channel you'll know what I'm talking about. She has to have popcorn nearly every single night. It cooks really well on this wood stove however it overflowed a little bit and we had a bit of an issue with the smoke. Also, Hot dogs are done. Emma just overflowed the popcorn on the wood stove and there's smoke everywhere. <coughs> First hot dog's done. It's so smoky in here. Good hot dog. Good hot dog. Alyssa, go get yourself a hot dog now. Well, our trip's coming to an end. This is going to be our last night. We're going for one little hike before we hunker down with our zero degree sleeping bags and stoke the fire. It's going to be a cold one. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it. Hopefully the girls will. Oh, I can say something funny. I've never pooped at anyone else's house before but mine. What was that? I think someone's trying to break in. Oh, someone's got to clip the door shut from the inside so the burglars don't get in. No. I can't do it because I'm fat and tired. Wrap up I'm fat burrito. and tired too. Hey, I'm wrapped up like a fat burrito. I'll you want to like Katie so you can do it. And my I socks are already up. wet. You don't want to die. If I touch the you. ground. Katie, you're the closest. And no. you're not going to bed. Okay, then someone's going to break I'm in. I'm literally going to bed right now. Katie, you have to clip this. Could you can't clip it? Somebody tell a story so I can fall asleep. There were four, there are four people oh, in the tent. Stop. There. Wait, there's four people in this tent. And the tent was unlocked. There's hunters that like because, so lazy fat Because one of the people in the tent that was closest to the door wouldn't lock it. They all got slaughtered horribly. Slaughtered. Great, now I'm not gonna sleep. Yeah. What are you doing, Alyssa? I have this heating pad in my stomach and it's actually keeping me really I lost warm. mine. You got a heating pad and I'm laying on the frozen <laughs> ground? I lost one somewhere. Now that you're up, you have to stoke the fire. No. Yes, because then we'll be able to sleep all night. Not only am I on the frozen ground, I have to sleep with a computer under my head so it <laughs> doesn't get too cold. There's gonna be, Aunt Holly's gonna try to come and Dad's gonna shoot right through the thing. We're gonna be like, oh my gosh, there's someone. Dang and then up. we're gonna get in the camper and go home. So I'm not gonna lie, this was really, really cold. The tent was great. It's doing everything the tent can. It's just like our wall tent. It's just negative 17 out and it's ridiculously cold. So we had to get up every two or three hours and stoke the fire and keep it going. As soon as the fire was going again, we'd all be super warm and cozy, could get out of the sleeping bag, but then the temperature would slowly drop down over the course of the next two to three hours and we'd have to refill it again. What is going on, girls? 
It's like a one in the morning. It's one in the morning and everyone's moving beds closer to the fire. That's where all the heat is up there. Wasted. Stupid heat! Come down up. here, Mr. Take heat! Some black blanket. I don't know if this is going to show up on camera, but it's midnight now. We just stoked the fire and the girls moved all their beds. I look like a little boy right now, but it's 5.30 a.m. and my dad went outside for whatever reason. And it's dead silent. He we're laying down and snuggled up in this arson and all of a sudden we hear, Ah! <laughs> so it didn't fun. sound like that at all. Yes, it did. <laughs> I'm here. And Alyssa's like, oh my gosh, there's so much hurting dad. And I then, turned the camper and on. We were like, we need a weapon or something, and then we got a mallet, and then... I turned the heater and the camper on, because it's... <laughs> Me and Katie are looking for a weapon while Alyssa just <laughs> ran outside barefoot. Okay, you guys made it all night. Are you happy? It's 5.16, I think. Yeah. It's longer than me. Aren't still. you happy you didn't give up, Alyssa? I don't know. I wasn't going to give up. Alyssa wanted to give up yesterday. Really? Yeah. We should just go on the camper, guys. Why don't we just go on the camper? What are you doing, Katie? Folding up my blanket. Why are you weaving a blanket? <laughs> I look like a gorilla right now. Do you guys now. happy you survived? It was like negative 17. My nose boogers are frozen. We just packed the thing up. Look, look, look. It was a great tent. Are you guys happy? Most men wouldn't survive all night. We yeah. are men! <laughs> <laughs> no, let's see if we can make it home. So we needed to make one stop before heading home and that was to get some hot chocolate. We all had a craving for it and we went right to Quick Trip to get some. Alyssa, what do you got? This is the best hot chocolate ever. It's from Quick Trip. So if you freeze all night long and then you have a hot chocolate, it tastes so good? Yes. We're heading home! Yes! To the warm! Finally! Through the freezing cold! So we really put ourselves to the test there. It was a fun adventure. I'm glad the girls made it all night. Heck, I'm glad I made it all night. And it was some good memories we'll look back on years from now. We made it home okay. Be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video. We're going to show you some awesome photographs from this week on our homestead. And if you're interested in learning more about our tent, check out the link in the description. Best promo codes and applies them to your cart for you. One listener said almost every time. I was pretty excited with this shot I got of the moon from our homestead and my daughter Katie took a few of these shots while we were hiking as well. Enjoy. <laughs>